Hello friend, I welcome you to my channel Let's Learn Graphics on Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakov right here and today's video you are going to learn how to create transparent PNG background in Corel Draw step by step tutorial. But before I dive into the tutorial, if you're very new to this channel, remember to click on the subscribe, turn on the notification bell so each time I post content about Corel Draw, you'll be notified. So without being said so, let's dive into the tutorial and see how you can create PNG transparent background in Corel Draw. So let's be so the first thing to do is to make sure you uh, come to the name of the design right here type in transparent okay so having typed in transparent and then uh, you have to come to the which site make sure you choose 1920 by 1080 and then make sure your pixels is checked right here and then make sure your resolution is 300 and you come down below here and click on Right, the next thing we need to do right here is to go to our toolbar. We have to click and hold down. At this point here, we choose rectangle, control key down, and then we draw our rectangle this way. So next thing we will need to do right here is to make sure we fill this rectangle with 30% uh, black. Then we come down below here. We right click on here to remove the stroke. Now we can snap this particular shape into the edge of the page border. Next thing we want to do right here is to press Ctrl key down and right click on our keyboard and then we make sure we drag and snap this particular shape, this particular rectangle to the edge of the first one and make sure we click on copy here. So this duplicate one here we can fill it with 10% black. So we are going to have something like this. Next thing we need to do is to select everything this way. Having select everything, we come to the home tab here, we make sure we click on group object. Then how we group the object, next thing we need to do is to uh, do normal click and uh, we press control key down and snap and then we make sure that this is snapped to the edge and we have to make sure we place with our right click, okay? So you place with right click. So when you place with right click, you are going to have something like this. Then you have to press control half, control half, control half, control half in a multiple times until you are able to achieve what you actually need okay then we can select everything this way and uh, we come to the home tab right here we make sure we ungroup all objects now what we are going to do right here is to select this and uh, we press shift key on our keyboard we select each of this one right here Okay, so one thing we want to do right here is to come down below here. We choose this color. Okay, then we are going to come to the home tab right here and make sure we group again. Now, what we're going to do right here is to take it down a little bit. So we have to uh, select it again. After we have grouped them, then we have to select them again. And uh, we take it down a little bit. Then we have to press Ctrl key down. Then we need to make sure this is snapped to the edge this way. So we have something like this. Then one thing we're going to do right here is to make sure we select this and uh, we press the late key on our keyboard. Then we have to select this and press the late key. Then we select this also and we press the late key. Okay. So next thing we want to do right here is to make sure we select everything this way. Then having select everything, then we have to make sure we right click on our keyboard and press control key down then we make sure we take it down a little bit and then this is snap to the bottom shape and then once you release your mic, uh, mouse is you're going to choose copy here then next thing you need to do is to press control hard control hard control hard control hard control hard so the next thing we need to do is to press control minus to zoom in so what we are going to do right here is to make sure we group everything and then for us to do that we just have to select everything this way then we come to the home tab right here we make sure we group so we make sure we group all objects then having group all objects you can press p to centralize then we have to come down below here and paint everything with a single color so you are going to have stuff like this okay 
So next thing we can do here is that we can press shift key on our keyboard and increase the size and then we make sure it snaps to the edge of the page. Alright, so the next thing we need to do right here is to go to our tools bar right here and uh, we need to select circle. Then having select circle, you have to press control key down and draw your circle. The next thing you need to do is to press P to centralize the circle. Then you have to come to the home tab right here. You go to effects. Then from effects, you have to come down below here and make sure you look for lens or you press hot plus F3 on your keyboard. So lens window is going to pump up here. You can come to the lens preset at the top right here. You choose eye fish. Having choose eye fish, then you are going to see the percentage. Right here, you can change the percentage to 200. And uh, make sure you click on fruits. So you are going to have something like this, okay? Then you can adjust the effects and uh, place it in anywhere you would like it to be okay then you can come to the home tab right here and make sure you ungroup so having ungrouped the object then you have to select the circle then having select the circle you can come down below right here right click on here to add stroke color then the next thing you need to do is to close the lens tab because we don't need it again so this is how you can create transparent effect or PNG background in CorelDRAW step by step tutorial. I hope you guys find follow for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big top up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial like this. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.